Hello there, welcome to my guide to tanking copper per mines in 3 minutes. This guide is made with an average healer in mind, with a few stacking points for if you have a brand new healer. If you are completely new to tanking, I'd highly recommend watching my guide to tanking video first, link below. Alright, starting this run off as we always do by checking our healer to see if they are completely new. If you are concerned about your healer, just use the new healer stop points that will be marked during this guide. Now that we're happy, make sure you pop your tank stance and head into the next room. Grab the three enemies and cleave them down next to the door. The last one will drop a key, grab it, open the door and then head into the elevator. We are now coming up to the first big pull of the dungeon. Now there is a new healer stopping point for emergencies and new healers. The AI aggro range is a little funny in this room, as almost half the enemies will give up and return to their starting points, meaning you can really speed this room up. Here we're coming up to our stacking point for if you have a new healer, um, just kill the enemies before moving on. For everybody else, we're just going to keep going forwards. Note that the fire sand, which is a key item, is just here. Someone will need to grab that. We are going to go into the left room here and just cleave everything down. Once everything here is dead, we will move into the next chamber and grab the next key item, which is just up here. Once we've had that, we're going to pop it down at the sparkly things and pull the plunger. Moving into the first, I guess you could call it a boss fight, all we have to do is cleave down every ad that you see. There's really not much else to do here and it does take quite a while. Once the boss has spawned, just pull him over to this door here and just kill him. Once dead. A key will drop on the floor, open up the door, ignore the ads in this hallway and head into the elevator. Heading down the elevator we are going to come to another blockage. We need to kill the two blasting caps to get our next key item. The most efficient way to do this without wasting too much time is to pop provoke on the bat. <laughs> to pop provoke on the blasting cap and then pull them back to the middle chamber. Go ahead and cleave down all the enemies, making sure to pick up the fire sand dropped by the blasting caps. Once you have both of those, pop them down at the glowy, glowy stuff and pop the blasting device. Note that there is some fire sand in the hallway before moving into this weird green ooze boss. Pull them over to this orange glowing lump on the floor while somebody else pulls the plunger in the boss fight. This will spawn a blasting cap. Make sure not to kill said blasting cap as it is actually the explosion from the blasting cap. My god, I'm getting sick saying that. That actually damages the boss. You're going to need about three blasting caps before you're actually able to do any damage. Once there are eight oozes, you can go ahead and cleave them all down to receive your second fire sand. Once again, blow up the wall and we're pushing into our final pull of the dungeon. Just grab everything, jumping into this river here and just keep pushing. There's no real need to stop. You can even bring them all the way to the edge of the boss fight. Just be careful and make sure that you use all your damage mitigation skills here just to make it a nice smooth process. Well, congratulations, you are pretty much all but done with the dungeon here. This boss is an absolute joke, there are actually no mechanics. He does try and spawn adds, just completely ignore them and focus on DPSing the boss. With that said, thanks for watching, have a great day and... Rejoice in the glory of combat!